Most Etsy sellers fail because while the products they're making might look nice, ultimately there's no search volume for the products and designs that they've actually created. And Etsy is a platform that relies heavily on search volume and SEO, so creating products around keywords that have high search volume is crucial if you want to be seen and make sales. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use eRank the proper way so you can find undersaturated Etsy niches that you can create print-on-demand designs around. So in case you're not aware, eRank is essentially an Etsy research tool that lets you look at Etsy data in real time. So basically, it takes the guesswork out of designing, as you can see what keywords are getting volume, how much competition there is, and if it's worth creating a design around a particular keyword. You can see exactly what people are typing in, how competitive keywords are, and most importantly, you can find low competition but high search volume keywords very easily, so you can tap into those niches early on before they become saturated. And once you get good at reading data on eRank, you can stop guessing what to design and start creating designs around things that people are actually searching for, which in turn will save you time when it comes to designing because you won't be wasting time designing products that there's no demand for. You have to remember that Etsy is essentially a search engine, so it's very, very important you use good keywords so you get good discoverability on the app. So now I want to jump into the laptop and show you exactly how to use a keyword research tool inside of eRank so you can find undersaturated niches for your print-on-demand business. So for the purpose of today's video, I'm going to use the teacher niche and the back-to-school niche. Now these two are very good to target because currently we're in July. Back-to-school happens around September, so these are prime, prime buying months for these two niches. So I always recommend to start off with a broad niche. So the broad niche uh, we're referring to here are teachers or back to school. And then inside that broad niche, you can micro niche down or you can cross niche uh, to help find those um, undersaturated low competition niches. So I've typed in back to school um, in E-Rank and as you can see, the search volume is trending up. Um, from May and it peaks in around June and July so it's a very very good one to target and also the broad niche um, of teachers while it does peak in the summer months it is also an evergreen niche so it is just a good one to target overall and like I say while both of these broad niches um, in terms of the teacher niche and the back to school niche have very very high search volume you can also see here the competition for both search terms um, is very competitive. That's why it is very important to micro niche down from a broad niche so you can find those undersaturated keywords. And now I'm going to show you exactly how to do that with eRank so you can find undersaturated keywords that have high search volume and low competition. So how do we find opportunity inside a saturated niche? And the answer is micro niching and this is exactly how you find those opportunities uh, within eRank. So as you can see on eRank, I've typed in the broad words of teacher. Nice and simple, and what you wanna do is just scroll down to the keywords, and you can see here you've got the search trend, uh, the average searches, average clicks, average click-through, and the Etsy competition. And as you can see for all these broad words like teacher, teacher shirt, teacher gift, uh, teacher PNG, the competition is very, very high. So you don't just want to make something broad and basic because the competition is far too high. So the beauty of eRank and what you can do with it is you can toggle the Etsy competition filter and go from low to high. So as you can see, I've done that now. And what you want to do is just skip forward a couple of pages and you'll start to notice um, opportunities where the average searches and search trend is going up and the competition is very low so for example uh, we've got for example this one here not related to print on demand but it's just caught my eye as I'm flicking through teacher action figure you can see the search trend is going upwards it pretty much had no search volume in 2024 but as of May 2025, for whatever reason, this search term is now being searched on Etsy. And you can see the competition is very low at 96. So I'm just gonna go through eRank now, find some low competition keywords that relate to print on demand, 
uh, regarding teachers and back to school and I will come back with my findings shortly. Okay, so I've found some low competition keywords uh, with, with E-Rank that I think would be good to use for print on demand designs. So I'm going to go through my findings now for the teacher niche, the back to school niche and show you how I've kind of micro niche down to specific keywords that we can use to create designs around. So I'm going to start with the back to school niche and show you what I've found. So like I say, I've essentially sorted the competition from low to high uh, and I've got to page 17 and I've seen this search term here saying preppy back to school PNG. So that shows, and as you can see with the search trend, that is basically much, much higher than previous months. Uh, I will say, what you do want to do is pretty much ignore the average searches globally, because this number, while it looks low, that's taking a 12 month period into account. So 52 average searches, but spanned across 12 months. It's not really accurate, because as you can see, this search term has only become relevant in the last month or two. And as you can see, the click-through rate is very high at 100% and the competition is very low considering the huge spike of searches in the last month. So creating preppy back-to-school t-shirt designs might be a good idea um, as E-Rank is suggesting this search term has um, got a lot of traffic recently. Uh, moving on, I also found this one here and I did actually make a design around it so you can see an example. So we've got raccoon back to school shirt. As you can see, similar to the preppy back to school bundle, search volume peaked, um, click through rate is very good and the competition is very, very low. So I quickly made a design with ideogram um, and put it on a t-shirt just so you can see the design and you can see it in action on a mock-up. So here is the design I created with Ideogram and here is the design on a t-shirt. Now you can use this design on a t-shirt, fulfill it with Printify um, and judging by the E-Rank data it could have a very good chance at selling uh, but what I would suggest is creating you know maybe four to six designs around a keyword in a slightly different style and seeing which design style sticks. So this design style might not stick, but the concept um, will probably stick. You just need to find the right design for the keywords and kind of understand what audience would buy a raccoon back to school shirt. Uh, moving on, we got a coquette back to school PNG bundle. This is a similar vibe to the preppy. So making preppy coquette back to school print on demand items could be very successful and worthwhile. Again, we've got back to school goose PNG, um, search trend spiked, click through rate very high, competition very low. So from my findings here in the back to school niche, uh, back to school goose uh, search um, term is trending upwards, back to school raccoon trending upwards. So that suggests to me there's a correlation between animal designs and back to school designs. So you could in theory um, micro niche down into that and target animals and back to school designs together and put those two things together in a design and rather than just creating generic back to school designs you're creating back to school designs around a specific animal that people are searching for. Uh, moving on to the teacher keywords that I found as you can see again I did a very similar thing change the competition from low to high um, and I just flicked through and had a look what I could find. So I found funny teacher awards. Uh, now, as you can see, this has search volume all year round, but it did spike in the last couple of months. So I think funny teacher awards and kind of quirky, funny print on demand products, maybe mugs, t-shirts could work um, if you're targeting teacher awards. Maybe students buy gifts for teachers. Um, depending on the award they've won. I'm not really sure, but I thought it could be a good idea for print on demand. Moving on, we've got science teacher Tumblr wrap. You can see the search trend is increasing. Click through very good, competition low. So that suggests there's a potential gap for science teacher tumblers. 
Um, we've got best teacher ever stickers, same kind of thing. Search trends gone up, uh, competition very low. Uh, and the last one I found is teacher last name shirt. As you can see, same story, search trends is up. Click through rate, very, very high on this one and the competition is on the low end. So that is essentially how you take a broad niche. Um, so you can take a broad niche keyword, being teacher, back to school, and then find opportunities to create designs around uh, within that broad niche by micro niching down and cross niching. And that is essentially how you use eRank to find low competition but high search volume keywords inside a niche. So a little recap, start with a broad niche. An example for this video was back to school and teacher. Put that broad niche into eRank, change the filter uh, on competition from low to high and find micro niche and cross niche opportunities uh, within those broad niches. Uh, if you would like to get started with eRank, I'll leave a link to sign up for eRank in the description of this video. They offer a free version and a paid version, so there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't get started with the free version today. Uh, I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll catch you in next week's video.